Well, here's the first and probably the last time you're going to see this a video on this game on YouTube, aside from that uh, one gameplay demo video by, I think there's a few kids, I can't remember exactly who they were. But anyway, probably the last time you're ever going to hear about this one, Taps. And let me see if I can get in the shot here. It's the only sister product to Loops. I have Loops, Loops M3, and Loops Shifter, and now I have Taps. That completes the set, so... I can't remember what batteries this thing takes. It doesn't say on the uh, side or the front of the back for some odd reason. Also, I had to point this out. This product emits flashing lights at three and thir three through uh, thirty se cycles, almost oh, seconds, cycles per second. So that's that's for everyone here in the video. Although I'm not gonna be able to play this, not even on my laptop either. The uh, the base that it's assigned to, like the ba the base that it comes with is way too big so i had to film it on a table which is impossible because i have a lot of tables that are full of clutter anyway I'm going to open this for you guys off camera as usual because i can't do it on camera properly i'm very very stupid Uh, that's the base. You have to assemble it yourself. Other than that, you pretty much have the whole game to explore. Just have to get it out of the package. I forget what battery it takes, as I said earlier. Gotta get the manual. Where are these? Okay. I haven't seen this thing in a while, but I don't remember having these weird plastic uh, things attached. Good lord, it's been so long. This is a game, again, that has not aged very gracefully, so I apologize. Also, I have to apologize once again for the lack of Totally Twister video, because, again, the game looks borderline stupid on camera and whatever. Let's see, is it double A I think it needs? Because I have double A's on standby. Let me double check. Um, let's see. Yep, double A. I have three double A's on standby. I am lucky. This actually survived the shipment trip. Like, it, it may here during shipping... And the batteries didn't corrode or anything. I'll show them on camera right now. Didn't corrode over time. And here's the inside of the unit itself. Yeah, I'm surprised. Because that dates back to 2010, I think. You were 2010 or 2012, I can't remember. Let's see. Again, the video is almost over because I can't show this on camera. Because of how stupidly big the base is. Um, where's the cover? I just had the cover. There it is. I mean, I'll assemble it on camera first before I end the video to show how ridiculously big the game itself is. First, let me turn on to... Um, where's the switch? There it is. That's the startup sound. Let me see if I can switch it back off real quick. So bad at this. I haven't played this game in years. Let me assemble the base real quick. That's all I'm going to be able to do for the rest of this video. Sorry if, it, if that's kind of boring. I apologize immensely. Before I do that, though, it's assembled on top of this. This rubber thing. 
it comes with, I believe, five, I think? Yeah, five of these. They also like pizza slices a little bit. I'm probably just like so used to saying stupid things. So let me put that together. Because that's the way you play the game. Is with assembling the base. Good lord. I was never a fan of how cumbersome this base was to assemble. Never has been. Yes, never has been. Never have been. God, I can't speak. I am so stupid sometimes. Come on. Or I could completely fall off on the other side. Good lord. This is annoying. It's hard to assemble too. Again, apologizing if, if this part of the video was like excessively boring. I apologize immensely. This is one of my least favorite electronic games in all seriousness. I only died to complete the set. Roadhogs outside because people are idiots. Just ignore that. Alright. And we need one more triangular piece on the base. Believe we got it. Yes, we got it. Let me put the game unit on the uh, on the base here. All I can do is show what it looks like fully assembled. Let me do that now. As you can see, it's huge. It's too big for me to show on camera, even on my uh, laptop camera. So I can't do that. Button to turn on the game unit. Um, no, the switch is. I need to turn it on. Button right here, I think, to select your game or whatever. It's been a long time since I played this, but I thought I'd just assemble it and show it what it looks like, fully assembled. And unbox it, obviously. So let's not do it for this video. I will see you all in the next video. This is Earthworm Gemini 94, signing out. Have a nice day.